So for today, we're going to be using the God's Bane armor set for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor set. It's right here. We've also already shown all of the shaders that you can put on this armor. It's right here. Both of these are videos that I've already made. And I do apologize that these videos took a while. It's just kind of like other things came up and I've just been really busy. So I really appreciate the patience and I really appreciate the people commenting. Just it really motivates me to make more content for you guys so appreciate y'all also just be aware that the hunters you already have your video it's right here we've already done it and really really like that video definitely check it out because there's some bangers in there but other than that let's actually check out the video so to start off we're going to be using the arms and this one i'm not going to lie to you guys was probably the hardest one just because of the a the arms i think are pretty terrible i don't like the arms but i wanted to use them because i think immediately when i saw them i was like i know they're gonna look cool with the nightly noir plate and i was kind of right i think they, they look really good with it unfortunately it's asymmetrical but it's not the worst asymmetrical piece i've seen everything still looks symmetrical except the actual arms themselves but it's fine because at least the shoulder pads are somewhat symmetrical for the chest piece radiant breaker helm and the radiant breaker mark is what i'm using because we're using the piratic footfalls ornament for the path of the burning steps and this is where I really like how everything came out because I'm going for a fire themed here, a fire theme here, obviously, but I'm also going for like a night look kind of. And I think all of it looks really, really well done. And the other reason why I like Radium Radium Breaker here is because A, the piratic footfalls and pretty much almost all of the ornaments that the burning uh, path of the burning steps has um, this like fire on the right side there is no fire on the left side is what i'm trying to say so i like the fact that radiant breaker actually blocks that and the fact that radiant breaker mark has fire coming from the from beneath the mark itself which really is good because then i'm trying to this it's fire is the whole thing is what i'm trying to say like it's super cool um nothing really much to say about this i just think all of it looks really cool the fact that we're using regal daring but there is no red is really cool um there is red on the arms but it's like all up on the armpit so a lot of it is not really shown and overall i really really like this set as a first set i think this is fine as for the next set we're going to be utilizing the chest piece and this one we're going to be using the light nightly noir helm with the gauntlets of the great hunt i think these two pair really well together and then for the exotic we're going to be using abeyant leap i think the abeyant leaps look amazing there's like one of my favorite boots in the game just because they look so cool and i'm not even talking about like what it actually does gameplay because gameplay wise they're amazing as well for the mark we're gonna be using finala's mark because obviously we're going for a night nightly look as well this one a little bit more sharper than the last one at least at least a little bit because the first one did have the pointy pauldrons but this one has a lot of pointy bits to it the whole arm is pointy the boots are pointy even the helmet is pointy to a certain extent so I really like this set. I actually think this would be the set that I would use with the Bayant Leap. I, I think I actually switched out my first Bayant Leap look with this one just because I think it looks so amazing. And the reason we're using Dreaming Spectrum is because I wanted to hide the white in the Gauntlets of the Great Hunt because unfortunately the white you can't change the color of and I just didn't want to see the white. So you can switch out the shader for something else to either complement the white or completely ignore it like I did. Um, but yeah, I really like this set. It's probably my favorite set here. If I'm being quite honest, the next set is going to be the first Viking set. Cause the last one is also a Viking set kind of, but this one I think is a little bit more on the nose or the helmet iron companion helm is an easy choice just because the engravings, the fur, it just, it just screams like Viking to me. And I love it. It's also one of my favorite helmets in the game because it looks fucking phenomenal. Like no one can even fight me on that. That helmet is one of the best helmets the Titans have gotten period. As for the arms, Ursa Furiosa with no ornament, just because I wanted that brown color to come out. But the unfortunate part is it was really hard to find a shader that went really well, or at least had some brown in there. And you guys will notice that from the Wolf Kiss plate. Uh, it's not the exact same brown, but at this point, I was just like, I don't care anymore. I just want to fucking get this armor set done. For the boots, we're going to be using God's Bane Greaves. I think the greaves look cool like i really like how they look and one of the cool things about this is the fact that like one side is asymmetrical to the other which is really weird for me to say but i do think when it comes to um titans i think that's a good choice because then you can have the mark 
empty or uh completely fill that void and i think the reason why i like the set so much is because iron forerunner mark looks really well with the boots because obviously you have that plate armor on the right side for the boots but then you have just the pure mark for the left side which i think is really cool uh, for the shader ancient wisdom is what i'm using and again at this point i probably should have gotten a little bit more in depth with the shadering to see where, where i could find that brown but at this point in time i was just kind of like i want to get these these done so i can have them already ready for that way for for the reviews and whatnot so that's why i was a little bit impatient but if i had a little bit more time i would have gone in there and see oh if i can find like a shader that had a really good brown fur and that being and that the same thing for the iron foreigner as well so let me know what you guys think about this one really really like this set the only thing i don't like is the fact that the god's bane greaves for the calves a lot of that in the back is off color and i don't like that it's very unfortunate and last but not least we're going to be using the god's bane mark i think the mark is cool i think it looks really really cool and it has the same properties as the mark from the last uh, armor set that you guys saw the fact that it covers one side really really well and we're going to be using a boot that also has just one side that covers and the left side's not for the helmet we're going to be using the ornament for the lower life splendor i'm not even going to try to say the name of this because what is what even is that i can't really say it for the arms light king gauntlets with the meridian constellation is such a good choice in my opinion because um the meridian constellation the way it's designed is half of it is covered with fur and the other half is covered with the plate armor and it's really cool because the like King Gauntlets is asymmetrical, but I think it's done really well with, when you compare it with the Meridian Constellations because it looks like each side has its own like uh, design kind of because for me, Meridian Constellation, the plate side goes really well with the Light King Gauntlet because both of them share the same color. But then when you get to the fur one, I don't mind that that's not the same color because it kind of mimics the, oh, well, it's sharing the same fur color. I don't know. It's really hard to explain, but I think it looks really good. Like it's pleading to my eyes for the boots iron companion greaves was an easy choice because god's bane mark covers the left side not this this is really really nitpicky but it's not it doesn't cover the same as the last mark because the last mark like just covers everything but i do think it's really cool still because you can still see a piece of the leg for the left side and i think that's cool as well um the only problematic thing about the mark is the fact that the dick cloth is really annoying to shader but if you want to shade, find a good shader that gives you a good black, Cryptic Insignia is a good shader for that because obviously it changes the whole thing into just good black. So that is pretty much it. Titans, let me know what you guys think. I think personally, the first one is pretty cool. I actually really do like the first one. But the second one, I think is like amazing. I think it's super cool. My only gripe is maybe switch out Fenala's Iron Mark for the Nightly Noir Helm. I think that one would probably be a little bit better. But... I still think it's a banger i think it, i love that one so much uh the third one i like it i like the norse like look that i'm going for but i don't like the shadering that i chose for it and then the last one i think it looks amazing i would probably just switch out the god's bane mark for the iron forerunner mark you know what now now that, now that i'm looking at it i think the god's bane mark fits it perfectly because it doesn't make it feel too heavy and if i switched out the the god's bane mark for the iron forerunner mark then it would feel a little too heavy for the rest of the armor so i think it's fine actually so let me know what you guys think appreciate you guys other than that be safe i will see y'all later